The reason why Zoro's King of Hell is the perfect yin to Luffy, Nigga, the Sun God's yang. So first, obviously you gotta get into the hell versus heaven theory and correlation. Zoro's the King of Hell, which is obviously the afterlife, death, you know what I'm saying, darkness, all that stuff, that kind of ideology or, or representation. And Luffy is the sun god, heaven, you know, light, positivity. That's the yin and yang. And it obviously like when you think about yin and yang, they balance each other's out. Just like how, you know, obviously yin is all darkness with a little bit of light. Obviously Zoro has some good in him. But majority, like I said, he's always more cutthroat, in my opinion, than Luffy is. Luffy's a lot of light and with a little bit of darkness, obviously because he's a pirate and things of that nature. So they they balance each other out, and they're they're the perfect uh, you know one two punch tandem. And um, you know, what I'm saying it makes sense. And obviously, this is Oda again being amazing in the way he does things, as you know, obviously having setting up King of Hell Zoro first, and then doing Nick of the Sun God Luffy second. So, and I don't want y'all to get it twisted. Oda had this plan from the very beginning. If you look at everything he's done, he's always foreshadowed Zoro to be, you know, obviously demon, war field, you know what I'm saying, character. Obviously, Onigiri, you know what I'm saying, he has a lot of tiger strikes, Ashura, you know, his sword is called Enma. All these things are references to either like hell, war, something to that effect. And, you know, he's been playing it up. And obviously, Luffy, he's been playing up, you know, joy, um, uh, people gravitating towards him, you know what I'm saying, him being a, a good person and all that stuff. And now it comes full circle when you see that Luffy is the sun god and Zoro is the king of hell. But now here comes in the question, if Zoro is the yin to uh, Luffy's yang, does that mean that they're both on the same level or, you know what I'm saying, near the same strength? Because technically, you know, they're supposed to balance each other out. Do they only balance each other out in emotions and you know, or do they balance each other out in strength? Because think, think about it. The only person Luffy allows to basically correct him is Zoro. When that whole Yusuf thing happened, Zoro said something and Luffy listened. So Zoro is that balance to be like, okay, you listen, you're the captain, but I'm the one who could check you and vice versa. Zoro listens to Luffy, you know what I'm saying, without question. So it's a good balance, but it does bring into question if they're supposed to balance each other out, do they only balance each other out in you know, mentality or do they balance each other out in power levels where they're, like they're on the same level but just do different things that's that brings in the question all right guys get in the comment section do you think Zoro is the perfect yin to luffy's yang or am i tripping get in the comment section and let me know and also if you like this type of content click the video that just popped up